It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. You learn something new every time when you sit next to Gray Beard Kenny White. He tells me this game is the Palmetto Bowl, South Carolina at Clemson. I never heard of it. Then he tells me it's a palm tree. I think he's full of shit. But we're definitely talking uh, a great football game here between South Carolina and Clemson. Clemson opens up a five-point favorite, bet down to three and a half. Total in this spot, 61 and a half. Kenny, tell me about the move. 100,000 comedians out of work, and you're trying to be funny here tonight. But it was a good job. The move is on the underdog in a big rivalry game. Uh, these two teams have played for the last 110 years, Richie. And Georgia has won. Forget about Georgia. South Carolina has won three in a row over Clemson. Now I got the teams right now. The last time they won four in a row in this series, 1954. Did you go to that game? Uh, no, I wasn't even born yet. Okay. Brian might have been there. He was probably broadcasting the game. He was in his early 30s. Probably. Clemson 10 and 1 this year, uh, 8 and 3 against the spot. Their lone loss was very early in the season when they played Florida State after Florida State had just shut out two opponents. I think they held the opening week to three points. So they were red hot that week. Game opened in that uh, right around uh, 10 or 11. Uh, and if I remember correctly, Clemson had the lead most of the game. Florida State came out middle of the third quarter, like 21 or 27 unanswered. Uh, Clemson uh, got the back door for that cover, and that's right. Only loss. Talented team, Boyd, uh, Ellington, uh, Watkins, great player, not getting, the, not getting the catches or the TDs, TDs this year, but a phenomenal football team. I know you like them in the spot. Let's talk South Carolina now. Yeah, we can call them the, the, the triplets. And Steve Spurrier has had a very nice year for South Carolina, ranked very high early on, undefeated. Um, tough loss at LSU has really kind of knocked this team backwards spiraling. Then they lose their talented running back, Marcus Lattimore, who would have been and still could be the number one running back in the NFL draft when he decides to come out. That was a huge loss. He's a point and a half running back. It has not been the same team, Richie, since they lost Lattimore. Well, South Carolina struggled big time uh, last week with Wofford, but they typically do. Last three losses by an average of 11 points. Wofford put up about 260 on the ground against them. South Carolina definitely doesn't care about that game, and Wofford gets their whole season. That's why that score kind of 7-7 in the third quarter, well, Kenny. Well, Wofford's another team from the Palmetto State. <laughs> yeah, also 8-2 uh, and two, eight and two this year. Uh, we're, looking at, uh, we're looking at the favorite Clemson in the spot. Made a 3-0, not the 3.5. Don't be a Joey. 